Mrs. Panwa, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. But we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. By the way, now that we've figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits on the Norfolk Barrens. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk Barrens. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norval Barrens. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Without a doubt. We Resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our Echoes can use them too. If you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. Yang Yang, did you hear that? I is that someone crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranger's training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shisya. Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. 
I heard he's pretty tough, but I think Rover can handle anything he throws at her. One with the sounds. The end has come. No hesitation. Let me be your blade. Let the winds roar. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came back. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh. <laughs> You must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may. I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well... Everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. 
I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen. Nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, she could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Sure. So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own, but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Mr. Zhongya seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongya has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. This mango scene? It's got some fresh-looking leaves, soft, springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. I grew up in my sect on a mountain, spent most of my time training with my masters. One day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course.
You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. Is that the beacon? Hmm. Why are there so many people? Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. <laughs> Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. 
about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I... I can't move. So hungry. Oh, b -b -b please don't arrest us! We really had no choice. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. On yourselves, or you'll be lucky to leave and we're begging you, stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we just we just joined the Exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang, didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. Wait. What I gave them was enough for them to make it to Jinjiao, even when they are so many. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily in a time like this. 
If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> fine, fine, we'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait, please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm, is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah! The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it! Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? Th that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? together. The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm, weird. We'll have to clean. The thorns are blocking.
The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm, weird. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Hmm, maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment, please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry, have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, wo the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Things are always like this in the rear. The frontline soldiers focus solely on battle, following orders and striking enemies. But in the rear, personnel must juggle numerous tasks, supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for to ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic.
like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about the spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. So, he never sent a letter home? Not even once? The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Julian was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Oh, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. <laughs> Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. 
with the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression and shortage of resources. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry. Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports, but with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and that could cause some issues. Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Julian's feelings. However, Julian disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Zhuyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted.
I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? All tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but Julian still couldn't take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Julian seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Us running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think... So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Magazine's route of transportation? The Quartermaster said the Magazines are transported by boat from the south. We haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay. General! Wind 
What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. Resonate with tacit discords? Rover? According to Baiji, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. 